okay so our topic is ford fulkerson algorithm this is the given graph what we need to do is that we need to find a flow network where every edge has a capacity and here is a source and here is a sink we need to find the maximum flow from a to f step 1 what we need to do is we find any path whichever it may be from a b d e and from it should start from a and reach f so let's for suppose we take a path a b c f so here we see the path a b c and f what we need to do is that we have to take the source and it should be ending at the sink whatever path it may be so we consider the flow from a to b as outflow and the flow coming back to a would be considered as inflow so as i said a to b is our outflow and this sign that is b to a will be known as inflow we find the minimum value of outflow here we see that from c to f is the minimum pipe so we draw inflow to all the edges with the value 5 like this like this like this now since 5 is inflow to c the value will be subtracted from the outflow so this would become 5 minus 5 0 this would be 7 and this would be 11 now we see that the value of outflow from c to f is 0 so now this path will not be traversed again that is from c to f we cannot go now here since you can see that i have drawn just a b c and f you can also draw d and e here but as in this step the other two vertices are not required so i haven't drawn them now since we have done the step 1 we will go back to the main question which was the whole graph and we will mark what has been done this 5 minus 5 has become 0 so now the vertex cf is no longer to be used we cannot traverse from c to f bc becomes 7 outflow 5 inflow ab becomes 11 outflow and 5 inflow now for the step 2 we need to find another path from the source to the sink it could be any one so let us say we take the smallest one ad e and f starting from the source a ending at the sink f and we draw for it step 2 that is we give the values now here we see the minimum value of outflow is a to d that is again 5 so as we did in step 1 we similarly draw inflow from d to a and we do that for all the vertices this becomes 15 and this becomes again 15 this was our step 2 we do this in the main graph also now we see that the vertex a to d has got its outflow equal to 0 this 5 minus 5 this becomes 0 so now we cannot go from a to d also now we have to for step 3 we need to find another path going from the source to the sink but we have to keep in mind that the path ad and cf doesn't come in the given path whatever we take so let's suppose we take it as a b d e f
Here we have drawn the path in the step 3 A, B, D, E, F. We values of outflows from A to B is 11, B to D is 4, D to E is 15 and E to F is also 15. We have to keep in mind that we don't confuse with the inflows which are present between E, F, D, E and also A, B. So we find the minimum value that is B, D equal to 4. As we have done in the previous processes, we take the values 4 and draw inflows to all the vertices. This becomes 4, this becomes 5 plus 4, 9, this becomes 11, this also becomes 11, this becomes 9, also here we get 7 and this becomes 9. We find that the value of outflow for B to D becomes 0. So this won't be used again. We go to the main graph. Now we see that we can update the values which we got from the step 3. Here it would get a bit congested so I am not doing here. We see that the vertices B to D has become 0. So it won't be used again. Now we need to find another path. But we have to ensure that AD, BD and CF doesn't come in it. We see that the value of outflow from A to B as we have to subtract 4, AB is 7, BC is 7, CE is 7 and EF is minus 4, 11. So we can take this path A, B, C, E and F. This path is feasible. We can also take the path A, B, C, D, E, F. There is no issue in taking any one. Suppose we take C, E in place of C, D and see what we get. So we draw the path A, B, C, E and F. F is equal to 11 and this is 5. So we see that the minimum match which is outgoing from A to B or B to C, C to E or E to F not incoming is 7 so we take 7 we draw the inflowing edges from B to A C to B E to C and F to E so we get So we see that we, if we go to back to the main graph which we have, I have redrawn it again. We see that the value of outflow from C to E is equal to 0. So now if we even try for going for step 5, we have to see that if it is feasible or not. We see C to E, we cannot go. So we cut this one. C to F, we cannot go. B to C we cannot, A to B we cannot and A to D also we cannot. We see that there is no path left from which we can use so that we reach from the source to the sink. So we can say that the, our graph is complete, the operation we could have performed to find the total outflow from the source which is A and to the sink which is F is completed. Now what we need to do is just add up the numbers and find out the total outflow. Now as we see that there are no paths possible. So this is our final graph which is for the Ford Fulkerson algorithm. If we are given to solve any question about Ford Fulkerson algorithm, this is our final graph. Now one thing is left that is to find the total max flow. So as we saw that in this question we had 4 steps and we had chosen the minimum points in all the 4 steps and we just need to add the 4. So from step 1 we had 5, from step 2 we had again 5, from step 3 it was 4 and from step 4 we got 7. So adding four numbers we get 21 which is the maximum flow from this graph. That's it.